the average water temperature around the British Isles is about 12 degrees, but cold shock can start anywhere below 15 degrees Celsius. Cold shock will last about a minute, and during that time, you'll have reduced control of your breathing, and there's a significant strain being placed on your heart. So the instinct when you go into the water tends to be to thrash about or swim hard, and it's just about the worst thing you can do for that first couple of minutes. Firstly, it puts an increased strain on the heart. Secondly, it increases the chances of you taking water into the lung when your breathing is out of control. It cools the skin more quickly, making the cold shock worse. And finally, it gets rid of the buoyancy that you've got in your clothing from trapped air. If you find yourself accidentally in cold water, there's a series of things you can do that will significantly improve your chances of survival. Number one, don't thrash about or start swimming. Number two, Float. It is possible to float. Float with your airway, your nose and your mouth out of the water. It'll take about 60 to 90 seconds to get your breathing back under control. You're then in a position to signal for help or to swim in a much safer situation. Finally, practice floating in your local pool. You can do it.